What's up guys, Toker here, and uh, today I'm going to be explaining how familiar metamorphosis works and how to do it properly. There's ways to do it that's not right and ways to do it that are right. So I'm here to show you today on how like how to do it properly. And I don't have an example like two familiars that were done the right way and the wrong way to show you today sadly. But maybe I'll peep that in at the end of one of my videos in the near future whenever I can get some more time to like do some spare like Togo grinding or something to be able to develop that experiment for you guys. So without further ado, I'm just gonna show you guys. So I have right here all four forms of the might familiar that you'll get at the very, very start of the game, as you probably know. And um, I none of these are correctly done at all. Uh, I just did this one, and this is the one I got at the beginning of the game. Now, what I'm here to show you guys today is the actual process of metamorphosis, of course. So, like, so my friend one here, he's metamorphable now at level 14. So, a lot of people, uh, including Master Solomon, which if you like your might a lot, um, first off, he's not that good of a familiar. You probably should just pick different ones. Uh, go to my familiar guide if you need help with that. But um, as far as like Master Solomon's, like, he wanted you to metamorph it right away, and um, that's not actually how you do it. So if I wanted to metamorph him at level 14 with a sun drop, that's it. That's like, like it. You can do it, but like you don't want to. So really, the proper way to actually metamorph familiars. So like, so at stage one, my friend number one here, to get to number two, what you want to do is you want to max level him. So I think it's like 52 or something. I can't quite remember for mites, but. Just using him as an example, so you want to get this guy to his maximum level, and it'll tell you when it does. It'll he have a little line in his XP bar whenever he's max level, just like you see on Oliver's XP bar. XP to the next level, it's got a line, because he's max level at 99. But while well, he says like XP to the next level, so there will be a line in it whenever you get to maximum level, and it'll also tell you like you know how it tells you whenever you get the familiar to a certain level, it's not metamorphable, but it'll also tell you in its maximum level for the species. So. What you should do is get him to maximum level first. This is to be able to produce the highest of quality familiar, and the, this, there's an actual big significance, like big difference in actually how like much it actually does. So, and another thing you wanna do, you see his familiarity. So this is something I didn't really do that well, and I should have, I should have done it better, and I'm gonna have to do it for a trophy anyway on a certain familiar. So, you want to, um feed them and get and like see their growth limit you want to maximize their growth limit as much as you can see so it says like two growth limit so you want to maximize like so we can get like 10 more attack power as a small familiar so you really just want to like feed them hella food and like stuff like that at least the ones you know you're going to keep and i recommend um go into my familiar guide for help on like which familiars you really are going to want to keep for the end game but i know when i first started playing and a lot of other people they would just metamorph like as soon as they could and master solomon kind of dicks you over on your first familiar because like he kind of becomes trash but um so like he'll make you metamorph at the beginning and that's not what you want to do with your other familiars with your other ones you want to um you want to max level them as my like as to best your ability and uh if you are having like 52 is a lot so if you don't if you don't know how to actually like level up quickly or whatever, I also have videos on my channel about that. There's ones for end game, and there's one there's one video that will have something for mid late mid early and late game. Like it has the full game everywhere you can XP grind, and not that it won't be difficult, depending on depending on what level you are and what stage of the game you're at. Uh, if you don't have the boat yet, then you can't even start toko grinding for the XP thing. So don't worry about that. So say I got him to 52. So max level, I just use this as a visual aid, I thought it might help people. So, and then you go to here, and then on your second, your second stage, you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to max his growth limit. So he's got a growth limit of 10. I don't know, I, I think the growth limit gets bigger if you, like, did it on the previous familiar, but I'm not actually sure on that. So, you just feed the hell out of your familiar, like you should, and um, get his familiarity up. Uh, the, full, the fullness will go down as you, like, like do battles and stuff from what I know from what I know um but once you get the alchemy thing you can make way better chocolate like I uh, use a bunch of princess chocolate on my uh, Dinah 
because he's my highest familiarity and I was trying to get the trophy so I got to do that but um yeah and then once you get you get your number two so so one to two you want maximum level and maximum food and stuff and then you pick your like your 3a or 3b you pick whatever third form you want um typically you do want to pick the one that is not findable in the wild like the mermite i caught this guy in the ivory tower so you can find him out in the wild dynamite is unfindable you cannot find him anywhere in the game the only way you can get him is metamorphing so that we can complete more of your creature like your creature log like like get out like 100 percent in the game and stuff like that if you really care about that then always go for the one that like is not like findable because you want to you want the better chance basically and yeah that's i mean there's not much else to touch on for um not much else to touch on for familiars and like how like how they level up because it's like you just max level them straight up just max level them feed them the hell and it, it will produce way a way better familiar than you could otherwise I'm gonna see if I can find an example in here. I don't think I will be able to, but um, I'll just take a look real quick. So I'm looking for my Dinoceros. There he is. So this one was a Rush Dinoceros, but he's only level one. So, oh, so yeah, he's like a Rush Dinoceros. It was just to fill out the creature competitive. And then uh, my other Dinoceros. This is my main familiar, and Dinoceros is the most broken in the game by far. So, you can't, like, give a huge comparison because they're level, he's level one. But, so, this Dinoceros, minus the food thing, because I was dumb and didn't do it, I should have. Um, he was completely max leveled before each time he went up by Toko grinding and such. He was max leveled each time, and he has huge stats, as you can see, but that's for any familiar, really. Um, if you max level and pure breed them, as like I like to call it, you pure go through it and just completely max level them each time you're gonna end up with the best familiar that you like it's gonna be your best familiar usually um and this one was completely rushed rushed through and like wasn't really taken care of with him i've been feeding him princess chocolate see his uh familiarity is going up a lot um i'm trying to do that for trophy because i'm platting the game um but yeah that's really it dude like, you can just metamorph your familiars. I'm not going to metamorph this one because I have all four. I'd like to keep all four. But, um, yeah, one, two, and then three A, three B, whatever you choose to do, max level them. Togo grinding. They got videos on it. Uh, if you need any other assistance, leave any comment down below. Uh, I, it doesn't even need to be related to this. It can be any other question. And if it's such an in depth thing, I might make a video on it. Um, of course, I'll give you your answer, though. Um, so yeah, really, if you need help with combat, XP grinding, uh, casino, whatever, whatever you need help with, uh, I got a video on it. Um, or you can leave a comment down below if there's no video on on my channel. Um, I'd really appreciate uh, liking this sub because I've, I mean, nobody makes videos on this game. Come on, help me out. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.